environment. Husbandry, what does that look like? Six, like proper husbandry and training. It looks like structure. Hmm. It looks like being able to lead a family into a direction. Hmm. You know, it looks like foresight, you know, discernment. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what a husband is. A husband keeps things organized and safe. Yeah. Young black women, who should they be looking up to and studying right now? Because there's so many negative influences out there. Who should they be studying? I love Simone Biles. Okay. She's my favorite. Okay. Um, they should be looking at women who have relationships with black men successfully. Mm. Yeah. Um, they should be looking at women who are not afraid to go against what everyone else is doing. And they should look to at black women who are humble. Got you. Interracial marriage right now is something that like I constantly see on the commercials, TVs mm -hmm. and shows. I see your face right now. What mm -hmm. are your thoughts on interracial marriage right now? But have you now? noticed how the tables have turned with that? It used to be them showing brothers with white women all the time. Yeah. Now, it's the white husband. you see the weirdest thing. Yeah. You see... They show sisters with Indian men. Now, when yeah. you ever seen a sister with an Indian man? Never. You never see that. See like, but now I see <laughs> yeah, several commercials, fresh. and she with an Indian man. Like, yeah. please, this doesn't even happen in real yeah. life. But the other men, they've mm. gotten smart. Mm. They realize, oh, the whole time, we've been trying to get the brothers with the white women, but they're learning, like we said before, the behaviors and mm. everything are set by the woman hmm. so they're like dang so we sent all these black men in to get with these white women then all they did was make them single moms and leave mission failed wow. but ooh, if we take our men hmm. and put their women in with him oh hmm. okay because black women you remotely mention them Okay, doing anything to please a black man and it is hell to pay <laughs> but Thanks. with a white man they Yes, Amasa, mm. whatever you need. And I'm like, and so white men are like, oh, okay. Yeah. So now that we've made their men look super weak, now we can get in there. Mm. They're going to treat us the way that they should have treated their men, and they're mm. going to empower us. Mm. A lot of white men now are realizing how weak their own women are. Yeah. So they're like, okay, so now we can get the black woman. Mm. Now we can survive in a few generations because our kids will have some melanin to be able to survive this environment. Yep. Yet I'm still the man. Mm. So the kids still carry on my name, my legacy, my mindset. Mm. Genius. We do We try to infiltrate through the men. Through the women is how we infiltrate and make them weak. A white mind and a black body. Man, we've seen it. We see it too much. Yes. So that's what it is. They realize we were focused on the black man. Mm. That was the wrong way. The women. Now they force them to be all kind of weird. I've been seeing the weirdest stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, come sure. on, this don't even look right. For sure. You know? Yeah. So yeah, it's a, it's all a way to it's a Trojan horse. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Hey, you cooking right now? So look, Travis Kelsey, right? On that mm -hmm. same point, seeing him, he was dating all black girls. He would score touchdowns, hitting the quan. He dancing now. He with Taylor Swift, the whitest girl ever, wearing redneck t-shirts, man, cut off sleeve. Like he switched from white boy, black boy to straight white boy, right? How do you feel seeing like that switch? Because on Twitter now, all the black women are heartbroken, mad about it. But my mind, I'm like, he's a typical white man. So mm -hmm. how do you feel about that entire yeah, situation? Yeah, that's what they get. Mm. I was so happy seeing all them with their heart broke good. Yeah. Because the way that I see black women pedestalize white men make me mm. nauseous. And then it's like, well, white men treat us better. You treat white men better. Hmm. Imagine if you treated your own man the way you fawn over them. Hmm. White man be so mediocre. Imitating a black man at that. Yeah, they'll yeah. do the most basic stuff. Yeah. Oh, he bought her two roses. <laughs> and they're like, that's so cute. I want that one day. <laughs> and I'm like, well, now, what if we affirmed our own man like hmm. that? What if when our own man did something for us, you know, we yeah. gave him that same level of you know, gratitude. Yeah. Imagine how much father will get. For sure. But a white man breathe and you're like, oh, look how he took a breath. <laughs> and yeah. it make me sick. Mm. Yeah, it make me cringe. It's yeah. like, ill. Yeah. Now you over here just worshiping this man. Mm. Like he already wants you to. That's a colonizer. Wow. Now he colonizer your womb. Mm. Now you just got a defeated, colonized body. Mm. Over here, like this, just, your eyes just big and bright, mm. you know, because of his skin tone. So Travis humbled them. Mm. and showed them yeah they'll sleep with you and all that but you see how when it's time for them to be in a real relationship and settle down because yeah. i wouldn't be surprised if he married her mm. he i will. wouldn't be surprised i think he will 
and she just moved in too that's what they said she oh yeah the crib. So, so it begins about to be a billionaire as well yeah treat man. your own man as good as you treat them white men stop mm. fawning over them like that it's actually disgusting yeah man all the fellas i'm sorry too but in sports right especially in football i don't know what it is like you'll see young black men play for a school like Ole miss middle of mississippi right it'll be the fighting rebels but it's a black man fighting for a confederate mascot or alabama you in Tuscaloosa, Georgia, you in Athens, and it's predominantly white fans, mm. all black players, white coach, and then they always end up with a white girl too. Mm -hmm. Why do you think our, our young athletes fall for the young white girl every single time in sports? Because they've been taught to go where the sex is most easily accessed. That is true. That and is white true. women are naturally whores. So they going wherever the sex easy is to get, that's where they're going and they've been taught that's where it's better to be. So since most women of other races are taught to lead with their sexuality, mm. that's why they're like, I'm not going with the black, I gotta, I gotta actually talk to her, get to know her, have a plan, I'm going with the white, I'm going it's where the sex easier. come fastest. Mm. And they've been taught to equate that wherever the sex come fastest is where you're appreciated more. Mm. Wow. So to that young black football player, what words of advice would you have for him when he's being pulled in that direction um see the other problem is this a lot of the the football player guys yeah. they do come from single moms mm. that uh because some people will say well why don't you want a black girl your mom is black and sometimes that's the exact problem okay mm. is he grew up with a poor black mom she spanked him talked to him crazy that hate a mask to him so yeah. he doesn't want any woman that remind him of that hmm. so when we talk about the black athletes so many of them do come from that kind of background with the stressed out single mom now he don't made a few dollars now he, the first thing mom want him to do buy her a house take hmm. care of her which i hate to see that let that man keep his money for himself hmm. you raise him to be the minute he make it here go to mama buy me this buy me yep. a car buy me this house. so now he associates black women with a leech energy he associates black women with emasculation, mm. physical, corporal punishment. Mm. So, yeah, he don't want no one that remind him of that. He doesn't see love when he see a black woman. He see emasculation. Mm. He see trauma. Mm. He see brokenness. Mm. So he wants a woman that is the total opposite. Don't even remind him nothing of that. Mm. So I, I, I'm careful before I, you know, condone these young boys. Most of them, they're just looking for love. Mm. They just haven't been conditioned to look at a black woman's face as love. So mm. I don't think that we fix that by further judging them and coming yeah. down on them. That's why whenever I see your brother with a white girl, you know what I do? Mm. I what smile. Mm. I smile and say, how you doing, my brother? I always ignore the woman completely. Mm. Now, a sister, I never do that. Yeah. But when I see a black man with a white woman, I purpose look him dead in his eyes, smile. Mm. How you doing, my brother? And mm. I say my brother to make sure you know I'm, I'm acknowledging we're both black. Right. And you know what they always do? What? Shamed. Mm. They, they can't even look down, me huh? in my eyes. Because she say. don't talk that white girl, yeah, black girl me. And I'm with you because black girl never liked me. And then me. you just broke that stereotype in that moment. So I, I'm, right. I make sure I'm pleasant looking good. How you doing? Mm. Now the white girl, oh, she be she crumbling mm. yeah he lied to you sweetie mm. he he hyping you up to continue to get things easier from you mm. but brothers feel ashamed yeah. when they see an attractive black woman smile then be nice and they with a white girl they hang their head mm. they so they know they wrong deep yeah. down inside because why you can't look me in my eye it's that conscious boy they know come on they I know feel that man um our athletes again right entertainers too i'll see them marry these white women outside of the race and then five years later out of the league get divorced mm -hmm. she takes half mm -hmm. tiger Woods, same thing right how do you feel seeing that because now black wealth just transferred into white wealth so mm -hmm. how do you feel you know seeing those instances from time to time i feel like how do we not understand this yet yeah that's what i think I think this has been going on too long. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't see these women. Women decide where most of the money is going to get spent. Hmm. Okay. I'm the woman in my household. I go out my way to make sure I support a black business. I ain't never yeah. heard a white suburban white woman be like, we need to support. Let me go out my way to look up a black business. Nah. They don't do that. It's They're going to spend money interest. with their own. Facts. So Facts. what I'll say about the black men, the athletes that marry the white girls and then get their money taken is how many times it's got to happen mm. before you see that that's not it. But that's what happens when we think that marriage is all about love. Mm. And we just say, can't help who you love. And we don't get that there's so much more to it than 
just that. So mm. it's that as long as the man keeps saying, "Well, that's who I love," then the money will keep getting squandered. I yeah. guess until we understand it's, it's not about love. Mm. 